Now, during the Lunar New Year of 2024, tourism activities across the countries are vibrant, attracting a large number of domestic tourists to travel and enjoy the Frings Spring Festival. Many international tourist groups have chosen to come to Vietnam to celebrate New Year's Eve, experience traditional culture. Many key tourist localities recorded a high increase in tourist numbers and positive growth in tourism revenue. From February the 8th to February the 14th, the country's tourism industry is estimated to welcome and serve 10.5 million domestic visitors, an increase of 16.6% over the same period in 2023, including about 3.5 million staying tourists, up 75% over the same period last year. Average room occupancy is estimated at about 45 to 50 percent at the tourist accommodation system. With a seven-day Lunar New Year holiday and favorable weather, tourism activities are bustling in almost all tourist destinations in the country. Tourists tend to choose famous heritage, spiritual and cultural destinations in localities. The Tuyên Quang City People's Committee hosted a traditional boat race festival on Low River on February 13, an annual event held in spring that attracts tens of thousands of visitors every year. This year's festival drew the participation of 15 teams with 450 racers from 15 communes and wards throughout the city. Each team was requested to complete a 5km race on Low River. The boat racing festival on Low River illustrated the sportsmanship, spirit and aspiration to conquer the rivers of people in Tuyên Quang. It also helps to tighten solidarity in the community and creates a highlight for local tourism in recent years. Now, the Donkey Firecracker Procession Festival kicked off in Tucson Town, Bắc Ninh Province on February 13, drawing the participation of thousands of villagers and visitors. The festival was recognized as one of 15 national intangible cultural heritages by the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism in 2016. According to the organizers, the best part of the thousand-year-old festival is the huge firecracker procession. In the procession, each cracker was alternately carried by around 30 young men from the traditional cultural house to the ground of the common house. The festival is associated with the myth of Saint Tian Kung, who fought Sikui invaders. It is organized annually in honor of Saint Tian Kung's glorious victory, who came from the Donkey village. The bodies of the crackers were carved with the images of a dragon, a killing, a turtle, and a phoenix to express hope for favorable weather. The festival also features other folk games like wrestling, cock fighting, and Quan Ho Love duet singing. Calligraphy popular at Hung In's Temple of Literature. and foreign students enjoy Tate in Vietnam. Now on the fourth day of the Lunar New Year, a Sik Dang Temple of Literatures in Hung Yen Province, a ceremony took place featuring a calligraphy exhibition and Kachu singing performance. For a long time, the Vietnamese custom of asking for and giving good words has become an indispensable traditional custom on the first days of the Lunar New Year. The agile strokes of the brush contain therein good aspirations for a new year full of prosperity, luck and peace. I asked for the word pass so that I can pass the high school exam this year. I hope the word pass will bring me the aspiration I want in this exam and also have good luck in the following years. Sit Down Temple of Literature is an important relic in the Phu Hien Special National Monument area with nearly 400 years of existence. Sit Down Temple of Literature currently enrolls 161 university graduates from the ancient upper Sunam town and has become a symbol of the civilization and studier spirit of the ancient land of Phu Hien. 
Now, during the Lunar New Year in Da Nang City, many foreign students studying have had this a unique experience of celebrating Tate. They felt warm happiness and had more experiences during Tate days in Vietnam. Choosing to stay to experience the tradition of Vietnamese New Year, foreign students, including many young Chinese people studying at Da Nang University of Education, have been given the best conditions from schools and classmates to celebrate it together. Before Tet, they cleaned and decorated the dormitory together to welcome the New Year and participated in spring travel activities. There are many beautiful flowers here. I don't know their names, but my classmates are here to introduce them to me. There are currently nearly 800 foreign students studying at universities in Da Nang. Among them, nearly 150 people chose to stay in Vietnam to celebrate the traditional Tet holiday. This is an opportunity for them to learn about the cultural beauty and customs of Vietnam's Tet holiday. I am a Laos student. Today I learned how to cook ban chung for the first time in Vietnam. In China, at the beginning of the year, people often burn incense to their ancestors. In Vietnam, I see people coming to the temple to pray for blessings for the new year. Cooking bánh chung, bánh tết, going to the temple on tết, receiving lucky money envelopes and writing calligraphy can be beautiful experiences during the study process in Vietnam that are difficult to repeat for many foreign students. Chúc mừng năm mới!